What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John 34 here to bring us more Battlefield Hardened on PS4. Today, I'll be showing you guys a gameplay where I managed to go 35 kills and 8 deaths. And the weapon that I was using in this gameplay was the H car, which is located in the Enforcer Division on the police side. And the only way you can unlock it for the criminal side is if you get over 1,200 kills. So get to work, it's gonna take a while. And the way this weapon is without the attachments. Ah, well, good luck with that. <laughs> so anyways, uh, the right way to use this weapon is if only you unlock all the attachments and that's where the uniqueness comes in. The gun becomes super powerful that you can only take out enemies with like around 4 bullets most of the time. Or sometimes, because I know in this clip you just saw like uh, took out the guy with like around 8 bullets and shit. But uh, there's some moments where you can actually take out an enemy like around with 4 bullets. That's how strong this gun is. It just has an incredible stopping power. So um, that's the uniqueness about this gun. The problem of the gun though, because I know every single gun in this game has apparently a weakness, and yes, it's true, this gun has a fucking weakness. The problem with this gun is that um, it is it is super inaccurate. It's bipolar as hell. Once you unlock all the attachments and you just start to install like some certain attachments, it becomes bipolar. It, wants, it goes from bad accuracy to bipolarism. Because at one moment, you, you will be hit firing an enemy like with no problem, right? Like right in front of your face, you just take him out with no problem. And then the next moment, the gun becomes super inaccurate. And I'm like, what's going on with you? Like, you were just shooting the crap out of this person with no problem. And the next one, you just miss it like all over the place. Like, I don't understand this. And the grip that I'm using is called the stubby grip. Not the other grip that pretty much makes the first bullet accurate. No, I'm using the stubby grip, which means it makes every single bullet tries to be accurate and shit. But I don't know, man. Sometimes this weapon gives me the angers, but uh, at the same time, I know that it's a unique weapon because it can take out enemies real quick. So, there's going to be a moment in this gameplay where I took out at least five people back to back, and all of them were like going against me, and I was like pressured and shit, and everything was chaotic around the area, and, and I took them all out with this weapon, with just this weapon, with no pistol. So, um, I'll tell you guys when it's about to pop up. And by the way, in this video, I did take some few clips to make a montage, so I'll tell you guys when. If you guys haven't seen the montage, go one video before this video, or if not, go one after, because um, I'm not sure what I, when I will put it on. So, anyways, this is the part where I actually put the montage. You know, the, the one of the clips that's actually on the montage, which is this one. I took out a person not even looking at me. Look at the map. Turn 180. Take out this person. Do another 180. Take out the other guy from across the freaking, you know, bush. Try a little bit of a zigzag move right here because there was a sniper right behind me. Go upstairs, take out the guy crushing the bush. Oh, saw a guy shotgun me like from across the map. I was like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Such an idiot. Did a little bit of a 360, hit fire to quick aim and kill him before he does a drop shot. So, yeah, that was a quick freaking series of kills right there. It was just insane. And as I told you guys, it turns accurate in one moment, and then the next moment it turns inaccurate. Like, I don't know what's wrong with it. So, there it is, guys. There's your freaking um, sample of this weapon. How good can it be if you customize it right? And I'll give you guys the best class setup on it later on so you guys can use it and test it out yourselves and uh, see for yourselves that it's super powerful at times. So, and also most of the times it's like from five bullets to four bullets that you can actually instantly kill someone. That's how strong the gun is. You know, that's how much the stopping power it is. So, anyways, for the rest of the gameplay right now, I'm just going to mess around with the snipers that have been hanging out there, like, for the whole game. And what I did was that I, since I had a riot shield, I can just, like, cover myself right here. I'm just going to pull it out right now and just, like, teabag the floor. Just going to teabag it just to make fun of them. Like, come at me, bro. If you're going to kill me, just come at me. All right? Don't come out with this bullshit of sniping and shit and not even pretend to even care. Like, nah, you come at me and try to kill me. That's, that's like, my, uh my saying most of the time like if you're gonna kill me just come at me you know don't, don't be sniping bullshit so i got a surprise for them i ended up being killed right and then i spawned on top of this building jumped down to the building these guys were at and i was like yeah i'm gonna taser this guy's ass take him out boom 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 hit fire from this guy teabag their body because they were annoying for the whole fucking game i swear <laughs> at the beginning of the gameplay which i did not show most of the time, these guys were missing their shots against me, and I was like, God damn it, y'all are annoying, because I kept, I had to keep moving. If not, these guys are going to kill me. So, yeah, th that, was, that was the only annoying thing in the whole, whole gameplay of this one. So, uh, that is it. Uh, the gameplay is about to end. I ended up going 35 kills and 8 deaths. Pretty much an amazing gameplay. I can, pretty mu I can pretty much duplicate it again. 
if I have like a lot of people coming at me like this, like like it happened. This gameplay was pretty much amazing. So um, yeah, it's an incredible weapon. You can only unlock it on the uh, Enforcer class. Make sure you test, look at look through there because they have they do have like two assault rifles per per uh, per side. Also on the criminal side, they have two of the same ones, but the only one of them is actually good. So that is it. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up. If you guys got any questions about the H car, please let me know in the comment section. So I'll see you guys later and subscribe for more Battlefield Hardline on PS4.